Hello once again our most valued student my name is Confident and welcome to the second lesson where we are now looking at the decomposition of copper to chloride and we're looking at the electrolytic cell. As I mentioned in the previous lesson we did look at the basic electrolytic cell and I was just explaining what you need to know and in this particular lesson I'm now diving in directly or as an example to look at the decomposition of copper to chloride. So if you didn't watch the previous lesson, I will encourage you to do so. But now let's focus on this one. Now, first thing first, the electrolytic cell. How do we label it again? Remember what you have, you have got the positive terminal of the cell or the battery and you have the negative terminal of the cell or the battery. Now, the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the negative electrode and the positive terminal of the battery is also connected to the positive electrode right so that is the first thing first and then we say these are these electrodes they are made up of a uh, substance or they are made up of graphite right and we did mention why graphite because number one it is inert and what what role does inert play we are saying it is inert and does not participate in the chemical processes occurring. So it does not take part in the whatever is happening in the electric and the electrochemical processes that are happening here. So now, just taking a bag. So we are saying, okay, you have got your graphite uh, electrode, but what is the uh, electrolytic um, chemical here? We are saying this is copper what we're saying this is copper chloride right and when you're writing it it's cucl2 now copper chloride is a what is the electrolytic uh this is the electro is the electrolyte right and what is an electrolyte we're saying it is a substance that conducts electricity Further, we said there is an electrolytic cell, just to bring back the definition. What is an electrolytic cell? We said it is a cell or, yeah, it is a cell that conducts electricity. Or it is a cell, actually this is not proper, an electrolytic cell is a cell that converts, what, electrical energy into what? Into chemical energy. So that's, that, those are the energy conversions, electrical energy into chemical energy. So we've got electrolyte, which is a substance that conducts electricity. Then we've got the electrolytic cell, which is a cell that converts what? Electrical energy into chemical energy. And then we've got electrolysis or electrolysis as a process. So this is a process now in which what? chemical energy i mean electrical energy is converted into chemical energy so you need to know whenever they are asking you these three different uh to explain an electrolyte is a substance that conducts electricity an electrolytic cell it is a cell that converts electrical energy into chemical energy electrolysis is a process which converts electrical energy into chemical energy so that is that part but let's take this back and then we are agreeing that copper to chloride is the electrolyte let's just maintain that for now all right and then we are saying with this now the copper to chloride we're yet to uh, okay we are yet to label them it's fine but the copper to chloride here is going to be dissolved in water and when you dissolve it in water, dissolve copper chloride in water, what are you gonna have? In H2O. So we are going to say it's copper chloride. Then when you dissolve it in water, you're going to have ions. Now the ions you're gonna have is going to be copper two plus ions then we put aqueous meaning it's in water plus what 2 cl minus this is chloride ions and then it's aqueous are you with me this is what happens when you dissolve this in water so we are going to have now ions 
and we call these what? They have a positive. We call them the cat. See the positive cat ions. These are positively charged, and then the ones that are negatively charged, we call them the N ions. Are you with me? And then if they're going to be inside here, let's put them in here. We are saying there's gonna be chloride ions, and then there's gonna be copper two plus ions. Then it takes us back to the cell to say in this particular cell, the copper two plus ions are going to be attracted to the negative. Remember the positive attracts the negative. Now what is being attracted to the negative electrode is the cations. And then we call this one the cathode. Now let's see. Why? Because it attracts the cations. And then secondly, what is happening at the cathode? Because it is negative. See, the cathode is negative, meaning it has got what? Excess electrons. Meaning it has got uh, it is an abundance of electrons. Because it has got excess electrons, here a reduction takes place. A reduction occurs. Okay. So remember the part there is the oil rig. What is reduction? Reduction is gain of electrons. So there's gonna be gain of electrons in this one. Then we come back again on the positive one. On the positive one, what is going to happen? We are saying if rig happened here, oil is going to happen here, which is oxidation is loss of electrons. Now what is going to be attracted in here is these chlorine uh, chloride ions which are negative. So now the N ions uh, are going to be um, uh, attracted and then we call this electrode the anode. So in the anode what is happening? We are saying there is deficiency or there is lack of electrons because there is lack of electrons now what is going to happen at the anode if the cathode was reduction and then the cathode is oxidation occurs occurs so now since oxidation occurs at the at the anode and then we come to what is most important which is the reduction potentials so i've got my reduction potentials so these are the standard reduction potentials that we're going to use to look at the overall cell reaction. So with these reduction potentials, we are focusing on two ions, which is the cations and the anions. The first one that you are seeing here is the one for copper. So we're going to look at the one with copper 2 plus. So if you look at it here for copper 2 plus, um, if you check, we're looking at copper 2 plus, copper 2 plus, copper, copper 2 plus. There is the first one. Let's mark it. There is the second one. Let's mark it. And there is the third one. Let's mark it. Let's check again until the end for copper 2 plus, copper, 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 copper. So that is the end. So look at this. So these, these are the reduction potentials. All right. Now, which one is relevant? Look at the first one. The first one says copper plus. I say two plus. So this becomes off because this is a copper plus. And then the second one, it looks proper because it's from copper two plus to copper. And then the third one is from copper two plus to copper plus. It's again not proper because we're moving from copper two plus to copper as solid. So the, the one that you're taking here on the decomposition is that one. So let me write it down. We call them reduction potentials, meaning you are gaining. You see, electrons are being gained here. It's plus, plus electrons, plus electrons. So these are called half reactions. So I'm gonna write it at this copper two plus plus two electrons to copper. So when I'm writing it, this is what I'm having. Um, if I can write it here to say copper two plus plus two electrons then it was like that and then i i got copper now you must understand when it's copper two plus you are allowed to say aqueous there and then here you're allowed to say solid you just have to know that information all right then the other reduction potential we're looking for is for the ions which is what chloride ions so let's look for the chloride ions here 
and when we start from the top chloride chloride there is one here as you can see cl2 and then let's check if ever there is any other cl just checking all right we don't have any other cl here all right so which means this is the chlorine chlorine and chloride reduction potential we call them half reactions remember so it's chlorine gas plus two electrons is two chloride ions so if i have that it will be in this case um what we have is chlorine chlorine gas as i'm saying plus two electrons and then half reactions it gave me what two chloride minus ions all right so as i told you with this we put that aqueous and then that is what is happening so guys these are the half reactions that's what we mean by half reactions now the next part the next part is we want the overall reaction as to say what is happening actually here so that's why we come here and say all right we know Back to the cell let's start with the cell we said copper which is two plus will be attracted into the cathode and reduction is going to happen and reduction is gained so if there is going to be gain i'm gonna take this one and remember gain means plus so i'll write it as is which is copper two plus but now i must write as two electrons with a single arrow now to give me copper plus I mean copper solid you no longer put the half reaction you are writing it as a, a, a single arrow showing that this reaction is going in this direction that's what it simple means all right meaning copper 2 plus will gain two electrons why because we said at the cathode there is excess electrons remember then this cell is more of an electron pump it is pumping electrons right so negative meaning it is pumping negative electrons and then it is taking them from the positive side to the negative side and so on so you'll see later how we're gonna write the flow of electrons here so let's continue so that is what is happening what about for the chlorine if you look at what is happening with the chlorine on the cell we said the chloride ions the already ions they are the ones that are attracted you see you don't have gas but you are starting with the chloride ions but if you look at this half reaction here you can see that the chloride are on the other side look at it meaning this reaction must go this direction so when you write it you are going to say 2cl minus that's where you are starting from why because that's what we have in the electrolytic cell we have got the chloride ions then and we also say it what is happening here is oxidation meaning loss so to write this as a loss we're saying two chloride we say they are aqueous and then you have an arrow you see now and then you will have now the chlorine which is the gas you see that and then plus two electrons so you see what is happening here the electrons are on the other side of the arrow now if you're going to be talking about the oxidation numbers which is you can see here copper is two plus and then here copper will be zero and then we are going to say now reduction in terms of oxidation numbers what reduction is a decrease you see in oxidation numbers while oxidation it was negative now it's zero is an increase you see in the oxidation number so oxidation numbers are increasing if it's what if it's oxidation and then oxidation numbers are decreasing if it's reduction i'm just reminding you that but as i said get hold of the previous lesson so that you can get hold of that now that we have done this we need now to find the overall reaction now the overall reaction here we are going to call it let's call it overall reaction so we're going to add these two reactions you add them to say you have got copper two plus on the left hand side and then we had two chloride minus which is what we had in the electrolytic cell you had copper two plus and chloride minus ions and then what you have look at this the electrons since they are on the opposite side of the arrow 
you cancel them out you see then you will say you're going to come up with copper which is solid plus chlorine which is a gas and then they will now start to ask you about the observation so we're saying this copper is solid this is what we're going to observe solid copper and this one is a gas so we're going to see bubbles you see of chlorine gas so you're going that's what you're going to observe you're going to observe bubbles but if you go to this cell now if you are saying there's going to be bubbles what am i going to observe i'm going to observe then bubbles forming in here there will be bubbles surrounding this particular electrode the positive electrode we called it the what the anode you'll see bubbles surrounding here and then on the other side of the copper we expect it to be covered it is going to be covered with what it's going to be covered with a layer of copper there was going to be a layer of copper surrounding this electrode see that so that is what you're going to observe so this electrode will start getting a layer or a little bit thicker you know than before it will be brown in color so you'll see that this will be what you say brown copper if you see the brown it will be copper and then here what you can observe you can observe bubbles and when you say bubbles you must know it is chlorine gas bubbles of a gas so that's what you're going to observe and then the flow of electrons which we're talking about he said here the electrons look at the overall reaction the electrons in as much as the copper is gaining them so where is it actually taking them the chlorine t uh, is donating electrons to copper which is gaining them chlorine is donating which is gaining remember chlorine is loss loss of electrons they are being gained by copper redox remember redox reduction uh, reactions reduction oxidation chlorine i mean the chloride loses electrons to give them to copper which gains them so here is the flow of these electrons so in here you expect these two electrons to be flowing like this so this is uh, this is what the flow of electrons even here is the flow um, I'm writing it wrong is the flow of electrons you see from the anode to the cathode from the anode to the cathode so externally if they ask you about the external cell externally is the flow of electrons this is externally all right and then internally is the movement of anions to the positive and to the negative like that that is the movement of the and um, cations and the anions which is the ions so guys this is what you are expected to know about the electrolytic cell where you are given the decomposition of copper chloride as i said i had wanted to bring in the new lesson which is the electrolysis electrolysis of what of sodium chloride of concentrated sodium chloride also referred to as brine and here that's where you're talking about the manufacture of hydrogen of chlorine and of sodium hydroxide usually called the chloroalkali industry so check me again in the next lesson because this is very very important for you to understand we have come to the end of our lesson thank you